Both in there on second down and 12. Martinez has room to run. And Adrian Martinez gets all those yards back and then some to the 49 on a 26-yard run. Second down and five in Nebraska's first drive of the game. And Martinez gets ripped down by Draymond Jones. And that is still, even with the departure of Bosa, the strength of this Ohio State defense. That's going to be the mismatch for this Nebraska offensive line is working against a guy like Draymond Jones, who's so quick off the snap of the football. He's very good using his hands. Martinez trying to get the corner. Jordan Fuller bumps him out a couple of yards short, and it's fourth down in about two or three. Down team in the country at one for ten this year. Martinez floating into coverage, and Stoll makes the catch with a flag down anyways. Jack Stoll, the sophomore tight end, reaches around tough Borland and brings it in with one hand. And it's going to be what a play, and again, Garnishing some of that momentum. I think you look at the past couple weeks for Nebraska, the success that they've had winning the pass at times. Second and seven. Here's Morgan gashing the Ohio State defense for another first down. Stanley Morgan, 165 receptions now. He's on his way to becoming the all-time leading receiver at Nebraska. And part Empty set on first and ten. And it is Martinez inside the five and down to the one where it's first down and goal for Nebraska. Ozigbo tries it again and this time he's in. On the 12th play of the drive, Nebraska with an early statement here in Columbus. Who has lost the punting duties to Isaac Armstrong, but still kicks it off for Nebraska. To send it away to Johnny Dixon, but he stumbles, and what in the world was that? Whoa. This has got to be, I mean, it was an attempt to look like it may be a surprise on side, the way he was trying to kick this football. Watch as his foot comes across, and he just barely hits it. Third down and one. Paris Campbell on the backfield now. He's got it. Dancing his way into a little bit of space and then getting thrown down for a loss by Aaron Williams. Well, Nebraska went for and converted a fourth down on its first drive. Interesting decision on fourth down. Dobbins stopped short. And a three and out on Ohio State's first drive. Turn it over on downs as Muhammad Barry slams the door. On third and ten, they trust the front four. A wide open man is missed, but a flag down. Top ten in the country, almost 50 yards per punt. Ohio State comes after it for good reason. Blocked out of the end zone. And so it's special teams putting its stamp on this game. Keandre Jones, the junior linebacker, blocks it through the end zone. Look what you've got, really your, your three-man wedge, but no one accounts for him because of the overload rush by the Buckeyes on the other side. So that allows Jones to get to the punter as a free runner. And he does the rest. Exactly what the Buckeyes needed to change the momentum. First week to have to play Ohio State because of those things. It's another high throw, but this one's pulled in by DeMario McCall, who's got a first down to the 46. From the 42-yard line, Haskins sets his feet. Time to throw, and a wide-open Johnny Dixon. Ohio State has the lead for the first time. Nobody within 15 yards of him, and he takes advantage for the 42-yard touchdown. This has been an issue for the Nebraska defense, in particular the coverage in the back end. Everyone runs with Terry McLaren on the left side of your screen. Excuse me, McLaurin. It's going to be Johnny Dixon running across wide open. Doesn't get much easier than that. Sometimes those wide open guys are the hardest ones to complete the football to. I've seen him do damage running the ball so far. He throws it incomplete. Washington, the intended receiver, Malik Harrison with the coverage. And that is back to back three and outs after the touchdown drive. End zone for a safety. This time they set up a return. KJ Hill 
lost it and got it back. And so from the 48 yard line Ohio State will have it Ohio State. Haskins off play action gets rid of it just in time Victor lost it at incomplete. There is a flag down. You know I think this time around they're going to call it against Nebraska. Pass interference defense number 23. Automatic first down at the spot of the foul. DiCaprio Boodle. Look at half at the top of his route. Nebraska likes to get up in your face, play press man to man, try to disrupt the timing of your routes. And, and I got to be honest, there wasn't much there either. On the jet sweep, Paris Campbell, a couple of blocks in front, as dangerous as anybody in the Big Town with a ball in his hands. And so they look for as many ways as they can to get it to him. This issue is once you get into the red zone. Dobbins, beautiful cut into space. First down and goal for Ohio State. That's the Purdue. Dobbins, stop and start. He's in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Beats on. <laughs> Martinez rolls and has an open man in the flats. That's J.D. Spielman making a couple of men miss and getting a first down. Last year, 200 yards receiving. Martinez looking back, floating one with blown coverage, and Austin Allen has a big gain for the Huskers to the 30. 45 yards for the redshirt freshman on just his second catch of the year. Scotch tight ends, Allen and Raftall, 6'8, 6'7. Trying to throw it back again. Ozigbo out of the backfield with a perfect strike and a first down to the 16. This year. He keeps it. Yeah, now looks to throw it and does backwards. That is scooped up and Ohio State's got it. Poor decision from Martinez. Leads to a turnover. Jonathan Cooper, the recovery. This is just a true freshman mistake. This is part of that triple option we talked about from shotgun, but look, there's, there's a guy responsible for J.D. Spill, and that's Sean Wade waiting out there for him. There's no need to force that football. At that point, you've got to run forward and just get what you can. And it's what you come to expect when you've got an inexperienced player out there. And Weber goes out. Dobbins comes in. Haskins looks to throw, and it's incomplete. Lamar Jackson with the coverage on Terry McLaurin, and it's fourth down with three games. And it's a good one. Boy, it looks like a perfectly thrown ball. And great coverage on J.D. Spielman. Ohio State bringing pressure. Martinez stays alive for a moment, but then is hit as he let it go by Pete Warner. They're coming after it again. He gets this one off. And a fair catch signaled for he'll let it drop down to the 32. Haskins lost it able to get it back and deliver a strike for a first down to Dixon. Johnny Dixon having a monster first half for the Buckeyes here he's got play action on second down and he got drilled by Jojo Doman that's a fumble and a turnover. Nebraska's got it at the 35 and it's the converted safety who's been dealing with injuries playing outside linebacker today effective and you're going to see Doman off the right side. It's been pressure either Haskins hasn't seen it at times or he's seen it and he's tightened up and made poor decisions three interceptions on the year when getting pressure and clearly this one he doesn't see Doman coming the entire way and the toughest part is he gets hit on that throwing arm side. So Nebraska has it back at the 36. Martinez into the short side for Stanley Morgan. And he's close to a first down with a stop from Damon Arnett. Exposed. Bubble it to Spielman. A first down and then some for J.D. Spielman inside the Ohio State 35 on a gain of 16. This game this weekend. <laughs> Comes full circle. Spotted him a little bit short, so second and one. Martinez sheds a couple of tacklers. Now going in the wrong direction and pulled down for a loss of five.
Martinez rolls, turns the shoulders wide open, but did he get a foot down? It's Williams. They say that he did first down to the 14. Here they've got it second and goal. Martinez keeps. He's in for the Nebraska touchdown. Another sustained drive for the Cornhuskers, and they're back to within a score. Six. Haskins well protected this time. It's a crossing KJ Hill who's got all kinds of room. First down near the 45, but the ball came out. He wasn't marked down. Who's got it? It looked like perhaps Luke Gifford pounced on that for Nebraska. They say that they've got it. Still no signal. By the defense, first down Nebraska. Yeah, Self-inflicted wounds, let's take another look. It looks like Gifford indeed was the player, not only to knock the football out, but to recover it. And it's always a play. Second and three. Oh, Zigbo again. A huge hole, and he's at the 30 with another Nebraska first down. They stay with a heavy ground game. Martinez stays on his feet down the sideline for a first down inside the 15. Boy, is he special. You know, he's got a first down and goal. He keeps it. He's got his second touchdown of this first half. And Nebraska on the road at the horseshoe has the lead with 15 seconds left in the first half. Came out of there, one of the strongest arms in the country. Gives it to Dobbins, who steps out of a tackle and has a first down inside the 40. And so J.K. Dobbins, who ran for just 24 yards last week, already has more than 70 today. Downfield shot at all today. Just Johnny Dixon on the one touchdown pass. Pressure coming. It's a screen. The perfect call for the defense Nebraska had on. And Dobbins takes advantage. Running to the 15 on a 23-yard third down conversion. From the 15-yard line. First drive of this second half for the Buckeyes. They hand it to Campbell. Try to get the corner. He's thrown down by Aaron Williams, and he lost three. Second down, 13. Haskins well protected. Letting it fly into coverage. It's picked off. Lamar Jackson. The third turnover today for Ohio State. They've turned it over three times this afternoon. And the Huskers starting to believe that they got a shot to pull off a monster upset today. Dwayne Haskins, this should be a simple read. It's really just a high-low, and they're going to be trying to high-low Lamar Jackson, but he eyes it the entire way. K.J. Hill's not there. Then he looks downfield, doesn't have it right here. Here's the player he should be going to. That's Terry McLaurin coming across in the shallow cross. And instead, Haskins with an uncharacteristic poor decision. Really Martinez down the seam, off of the hands of Spielman, who had beaten Sean Wade. And in us, Nebraska had a punt blocked earlier today. This time, Ohio State sets up the return. K.J. Hill watches it bounce, and Ohio State catches a break that that thing goes all the way into the end zone. Get past him. On second and four, looks wide side, lets it fly for Victor, and a first down for Ohio State. That's pressure and picking it up. No second and nine. They give it to Weber, who bubbles it outside, now cuts it against the grain. He's got blockers in front. Weber hits it hard into Nebraska territory for a first down. 26 yards after it looked like it was going nowhere. On first and goal, back to Dobbins, back downhill, and in the old Ohio State way. Straight ahead for the touchdown and the lead. Empty set. Ohio State rushes four. Martinez out in front of Ozigbo, fourth down. Ahead of Ozigbo. Armstrong with a Knuckling punt that goes out of bounds around the 35. Ohio in the game at running back motions out. They heat up the empty set at an incomplete pass. It didn't look like McCall was ready. Everyone's set. Now Chrisman with the punt. Takes good Ohio State bounce. 
All the way down inside the 10. It'll roll to a stop at the 4. 58-yard effort from Chris Smith. They bring only three. Here's Morgan. Stanley Morgan weaves his way for close, but it doesn't look like he got it. Haskell Garrett came back to hit him. Just shy. And they're coming after it. This time Armstrong gets it off. Hill with a fair catch. At the 47 in Nebraska territory. Down reception to Dixon. Do they take a shot here? Campbell the motion man. Here's Weber spinning his way into some space. And able to break free. Still going. Down to the 10. 38 yards for Weber. Late in the third. Campbell on the jet sweep. Paris Campbell untouched touchdown. It was Isaiah Prince, the captain of that O-line, paving the way for the Ohio State score. On third and nine. Martinez steps up, thought about going deep, instead pulled it down, and then went down. Able to get four, but it's not enough, and it's fourth down. Good hang time on this one. Hill watches it bounce back towards where it came from and finally downed. Brown game going here in the second half. They go three consecutive throws on this drive and three consecutive incompletions as it was underthrown looking for Johnny Dixon. But, you know, again, that's been some of the inconsistency of Ohio State with some of the scheme and play call. Fair catch taken by J.D. Spielman. That's Spielman in motion. Morgan to the bottom of the screen and one-on-one. -on -one. Martinez in trouble. Heaves it up out of bounds. And here in the second. Fair catch for Hill. Nebraska bringing pressure. Haskins steps into it. Tipped and incomplete. Aaron Williams was the man that got his hand on it. And it is, in fact, back-to-back -back three and outs for the Buckeyes, unable to extend the lead, unable even to shift the field. Do something with it. Line drive punt, fair catch from Spielman. A fake to Washington. Martinez scrambles. Sets his feet, got hit as he throws. Down the sideline, Morgan's got it! There's the big play the Huskers were looking for, delivered by the senior as the freshman stood in against the hit. And how about the toughness of the true freshman? Steps up, heaves it, while getting knocked down by Tyreek Smith, and then Stanley Morgan on the other end going up and making a play right when they needed him too. This. Straight ahead. And a nice job to slam the door at the one. Guess who? Brendan White again with Chase Young. And it brings Nebraska back to within six. Go back to the air here on second down. Dixon comes loose, dances his way for a first down. Target, five catches for 96 yards. They look to throw again on first down here. All day to scan the field. Now he scrambles, directs traffic, and finds Farrell for a first down near midfield. They give it back to him here. Stop and start and explode. There goes J.K. Dobbins for an Ohio State touchdown. Martinez dumps off his screen and a lot of room for Maurice Washington. First down to the 45. From In his behalf, we had a lot of former Ohio State players making appeals for them. So to see this kid have this great day on this day is pretty special. State offsides on fourth and short, and the Buckeyes didn't budge. Martinez into the flats. That's Spielman. That's a touchdown. And the Huskers not dead yet. Back to within a score with 2.57 left. And the Buckeyes accomplish the bottom line mission of getting a win and getting back on track after their first loss. They're set to move to 8 and 1 on the season. Still plenty of work to do for Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes if they want to reach the college football playoff. But today they 
avoid the upset. They trailed at halftime. They dominate the third quarter and hang on 36-31.